an individual event. Also in this heat, his brother Josephus. I know they're excited, but I was more concerned. How is their mom, Keisha, feeling in the stand? So I texted her and she said, I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. This is surreal for me. When they were in the eighth grade, they both said they wanted to be Olympians, and here they are with an opportunity to do just that. She says it's been a long road for them, full of adversity, but here we are, teamwork. Addo, what do you make of Noah starting in lane eight? Is that going to suit him or not? No, it's perfect for him because the strength of his race is the final 100, so this, this gets him off the turn quickly. Last turn to run in lane 8. On the inside of him, though, two very fast youngsters in lanes 5 and 6, Terence Laird and Arian Knighton. Terence Laird, who won the 100 at the NCAAs and second in the 200, opted to not run the 100 here and focus on the 200. I think it was a really good decision for him. He's looked really good through the rounds. And this guy in lane six broke Usain Bolt's world under 18 200 meter record. He turned pro, and that's the only reason why he will not get credit for having broken Noah Lyle's high school national record. He ran 20.04 in his opening round heat. He's only 17, but I guarantee you he is going to factor in this race. He's in lane six. He's already got this guy's attention, Noah Lyle's. Top three go through, there's Lyle second from the right. And if Lyle second from the outside can be in contention around this turn, which he is, I'm not worried about the second half of this race. That's his strength. Here comes Arian Knighton, though. The 17-year-old in the middle of the track. The 17-year-old's going to beat the world champ as he eases up and goes through in a 1988. My goodness. And the wind is legal. That would be another world under 18 record once it's ratified so remember five years ago when noah lyles came to the olympic trials as a high schooler and he was beating all these pros turnabout is fair play right now he's got a high schooler running him down in the straightaway how many people have ever seen run down noah lyles in the straightaway mm -hmm. i know it's the semifinals everybody's taking it easy but that young high schooler knighton is here to not play any games. Noah Laws ran a fabulous turn, Sonia, and then the high schooler ran him down. The fourth fastest man of all time at this distance, who actually worked harder on that turn, so I thought he would easily handle the final 100. But Knighton had other plans and looked Otto really comfortable. He's looking at the clock <laughs> as he's crossing the finish line. I don't know, it's going to be a race in the final. 17 years of age, you're in the Olympic trial semifinal for the first time ever. You run down Noah Lyles and 10 meters from the, from the line, you're looking at the clock. That's confidence. Pre-race, pre-race, he said, I'm going to go hard in the first 150 and dial it back and save a bit for the big race. <laughs> if that's saving a bit, <laughs> look out. And through goes Arian Knight, Noah Lyles and Terence Laird. Let's hear from Lewis Johnson after a special second semi. Well, I think Noah had had word with uh, Arian before about what he's supposed to do after a race, but he doesn't seem to get the message. Nah, nah. I told him last time that they wanted to talk to you, man. And he was like, nah, nah, nah. I was like, look, when you win your heats, they're going to want to talk to you. You're young, you got a story to tell. Bro, they want. Right. They want to hear it. All right, well, let's talk about you. From shadow boxing in lane eight out here to finishing in second, what do you make of this semi and how, what needs to change to get you to make sure you make this team in the final to be honest i was happy with the semi okay. i did exactly what i wanted to do uh arian just had the same plan okay. and uh you know he was behind me but that's never an excuse so you know i'm just getting ready for the final now i think people would like to know what it's like to run with your brother josephus and your mom watching nervously in the stands ha, it's exciting i always love it i told him before you know i never seen a better duo so we're gonna come out here and we're both gonna give it our all all right no see you in the final see you thank you Unfortunately, brother Josephus didn't make it through on time. Fred Curley, Kyrie King get those final two spots in the men's final that you will see tomorrow. Guess what?